The entrance exam arc, a little, it wasn't an arc, it was like a little mini episode. It was actually pretty fun. I, I don't know, the whole, <laughs> it's become Mission Yaoi Zokura, I guess, with the new guy, but he's pretty important, right? He's like a proctor and he had a fan. He's like an actually big fan of, you know, Tayo as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. There were some, you know, funny moments with like Mutsumi maybe getting cucked and stuff like that, but nah, that's not what's really going to happen. I heard today's episode was actually pretty funny too as well. Let's see what's going to happen. Soft music playing. Thank you. Oh, what is this dress? Who is this? Blood? Have we ever seen this character? I don't think I recognize him. Who's the girl? Who's the girl? This isn't the same character, right? He's got a little... No, I don't, I, don't, I don't think this, these are the same characters. Is it? No, it's not, right? It's, it's, it's not. I'm like, is that him from the past? I, 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 I don't think so. It looks different, but he's got a different haircut and eye bags and... Someone left. That old geezer. Gonna pop out for a bit. Bon. There's a character named Bon that's a prisoner that just kind of escapes whenever he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is not an infinite storage bag. How are you fit in there? How is that possible? That's not an Isaka item box. Hello, old man. Yeah, so, it sounds like he's Yosakura Butler or something, because the face scan, you know, it says after a year, it's it, you know, it resets or it doesn't, you know, work anymore. So like, he used to be Butler for us. Very flexible man. Actually, Yosakura Grandpa, blood rel well. We're not blood related, but like in the Yozakuru family, like he's actually blood lineage grandpa. Yo. <laughs> I mean, if an old man just came out of my backpack and said, I'm your grandpa, yeah, I probably have the same reaction too. Stranger danger. <laughs> okay, grandma's dead. <laughs> okay, grandma's dead, unfortunate. Okay. Actual grandpa Bon. Yeah, I got a butler and maid now. Grandpa got game. Huh. I already like this guy. He he's he's very funny. He's very outgoing. <laughs> he's got Riz at the age of 97 years old. He's still in his prime, bro. Libido's still up. <laughs> Chinese, uh, I I'm not Chinese, but um, a lot of my Chinese friends, whenever it's just like Lunar New Year, like the parents, they give them red envelopes, right? So it's like, you know, or like grandparents sometimes will just slip you money. I think everyone's every culture kind of does that. So this grandpa's like, it's a fucking wad of cash that I stole from the fucking prison at the, at the police. That's in my head cannon right now. Damn, grandpa's spoiling us. Alright, let's hang out with the grandpa. Oh, saying Bun escaped. What did he do to get put in prison? Bald. That's a... Damn, he was put in jail as a mission to get intel from the underground stuff? Okay. <laughs> he is a playboy, huh? Grandpa, Grandpa is a womanizer. I love it. <laughs> yeah, power scaling wise, who's better? Because he's so flexible. He completely undid the strings, the wires from Big Bro right there. That's a pretty cool frame. Grandpa better? To go shopping? He did take Tayo! Alright, let's go shopping with Grandpa. 
That picture again. That's the picture from the intro. The guy and the girl. The intro scene. That, this room, man. This fucking room, man. Legendary mole. Escape any facility. Womanizing. He's flirting with the ladies. Taking your fucking grandson while you know that he's fucking, you know, married to your granddaughter and then do like a hostess club party. Like, <laughs> Grandpa knows how to have fun, huh? <laughs> Bro's about to buy a diamond ring. He's fucking balling. Don't let Mutsumi know. Don't let Mutsumi know. 9 11 was an inside job. We're talking about some uh, very highly confidential information. Okay, okay. I know that bro is all about, you know, like joint, like loose joint and stuff like that, but like his arms literally turn into paper mache here. Look how fucking flat this is. This is beyond just flexibility, bro. He looked like a Rimuru there for a second. Ew. Ew. Nanao Tech. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually so jacked too. Holy fuck. Damn. Grandpa is like physically still in the prime of his life. Holy. Slippery old man. <laughs> Yeah, and he's still this good. Because he wanted to see the grandson. Wait, what do you mean? You're not death sentence? Damn, three year old vintage socket. He's a regular here, huh? Is it really? <laughs> Yo, these subs are unhinged right now. These uh, bro literally said being a spy is all about drinking, smoking, and women. You beta, you beta males are fucking nowadays are so boring. Beta males says Grandpa Vaughn. Now I would like to think that you know the translator for this kind of went their extracurricular methods to kind of put this in, but okay. <laughs> Grandpa wants grand grandchild. <laughs> Yo, in the intro scene, was that Grandpa Bon? And then the girl in the dress, was that Grandma? Because I'm trying to think right now how the intro scene, you know, is supposed to make sense. I think that this is a pretty good guess, right? Like the intro scene, the lady and the guy, the dress and the guy was bleeding out, Grandma and Grandpa. I do kind of want to see Grandma now, yes. I do want to see it, yes. Oh, I'm listening. Give me more descriptive detail. There it is, there it is. Keiko. Damn, Keiko. Damn, Keiko. Nice pearl necklace. <laughs> Damn, Grandma! What happened to Grandma, though? <laughs> Sad backstory, I think. It's the flower again. In the intro scene, it was raining, and this flower was there, right? Am I crazy? Was that a different anime? I swear to God, the intro scene had this flower, and it's pouring fucking rain, and that's the day that they met. Married into Yozakura family. Got it. So Keiko was Yozakura blood, and he married into the family. Got it. Just like Tayo. Tayo and Grandpa, there's a lot of similarities now then. I want to know how she died. Pouring one in for his elders. How polite. Is he going to take the shot actually? Okay. 
How polite. <laughs> Grandpa completely approves of Tayo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This ain't Keiko, is it? I mean, black hair. Is this Grandma? I mean, Grandma shouldn't have black hair at this age. Who is this right now? Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? Like, if it can't be Keiko because she's dead, I really, it's heavily implied that it's, it's dead, right? Grandma should have white hair? I mean, it's anime, bro. It's like, why not? But like, maybe it's like Grandpa. It's, if it's Grandpa, then he must have offsprings, right? Grandpa and Grandma, do they have kids? Is this another, you know, like our, how does that work? Our mother? Auntie, it would be our auntie, right? Oh. Grandma? I mean, she is a grandma, but is it our grandma? You better behave yourself if you don't want to blow off your wife's hand. Why was he acting like... Why was he implying that she was dead? <laughs> what the fuck was that about, man? What? Why did grandpa troll us? Grandma still got it going. Eighth family head. Where's all the girls right now that we were at the bar with? Just, you know, fucking... Just flirting, bro. <laughs> yeah, why is she alive? The ring that he was talking about buying while flexing on the other host girls was actually made for grandma. Alright, fine. Now get back to prison. Oh, it's their anniversary. That's what it was. Oh. What's that? What's that blush? Oh, she overheard everything. Eavesdropping. Wonder if she heard the part about the great grandchild. You know, Grandpa Bama's like, "Come on, I need a I need a great grandchild." I wonder if she heard that part. Oh, let's just forget about how he was flirting with the ladies, though. <laughs> he cried to get a date. <laughs> oh, that day. Oh, oh, this is a no, no, no. This is like a recent picture. They did get that day for the anniversary. Okay, so they did get it, huh? Dude, Grandma Keiko back in the day? Sheesh. All right. What's the next half of the episode? Grandpa's already back. I thought he'd be gone already. I, I thought I thought the reason he's in prison is because he's too OP anymore, and this is one way to nerf him and kind of like, you know how they do stuff with Big Brother Kyochiro too, right? It's like we can't have him bail us every time, so he's always on different missions so that he can't just you know solve our problems. I thought they were doing the same shit with Grandpa, just putting him in jail and be like, yeah, he's doing undercover shit, but he's out whenever he wants. Going out today. Gaon Mall. We're all splitting up. <laughs> yeah, put it on the family credit card. <laughs> That's unfair. That's unfair. Too easy. Folded. All right. Dad, mom. So, like, dad and mom is dead, right? They were assassinated. We don't know about that part yet. That's an important plot point. We had a sibling, though. I did not know about this. So we have a sibling. Little brother? What if he's still alive? He's dead, right? Don't spoil me. But, like, interesting that I, all I remember is mom and dad is dead. Dead. I'd have to go back to episode one to realize, but like, whenever you have shit like this and you show me that, it's just like, what if the sibling's still alive? I mean, it's shit like that's like, ooh, what happens? Bullets and grenades, where do we buy that? Oh, Biken! Don't piss yourself. Gotcha! 
It's time to gamba. Oh, the special turning order was not superstition. It's a special code to actually get grenades from this. Okay, okay. <laughs> they sell that shit here. Yeah, it's a secret though. What kind of special code will it be to get here? The order is gonna be something crazy, and then it's we're gonna be giving like bullets or some shit. Hundred kilograms of iron tapioca milk. The bubbles. I'll, I'll, I'll pay with blood. Super code. There's the bubble tea bullets. Bullet tea. Oh, this is where Shion went to. Yo, there's so many knives. Wait, in Japan, this doesn't happen, right? Like in America, you can fucking buy guns at Walmart, right? But like in Japan, like this is obviously this is not Japan, right? It's a fucking anime. I'm just saying, like they don't have gun shops like that, right? It's straight up America right now. Interesting statistics on his behavior. Okay. The way sister just... <laughs> For a second, I saw this and I was like... What's, what's happening? What's fucking happening right now? Massage. That's it, that's it, that's it. Holy! That's a lot of bullet wounds! Jeez. Oh, she, she's she gotta be the most built character in this show. It's a grandma. She got a lot of bullet wounds here, too. She got a lot of different bullet wounds here. She, and she's got a scar. Yo, I want to see her in action. I want her to just, like, fuck people up. Chio X bodyguard. Uh, there's some additional text here. Hold up. X bodyguard, 97 years old. She's in her prime still, baby. She has. She's still peaking every day, baby. Yeah, that's how strong they are. No, no. Cyanide. That's a whole ass clown right there. He's role playing as a Joker too. Oh, okay, Seiji. This. <laughs> okay, go. Hello. No, 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 no. These are also our people too. These are also our, if Seiji is here, the other people here are on lookout to make sure that, you know, nobody is getting in the way to see this. Yeah, I'm like, are these random pedestrians and he just doing this shit? Wow, how discreet. But if Seiji's in frame, then these other guys and girls are also, you know, like paid actors from our side. <laughs> Book for what? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> We'll clean anything. Straight up, like, 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 I, I've, heard, I've seen from movies, I don't know how true this is, but like serial kills and stuff, right? Their bed sheets get stained by blood or shirts, you know, stuff like that. You need to have like a, uh, <laughs> like a, a dirty laundry store that's gonna be like, yeah, we, we don't care. I don't care what kind of stuff you, we do business with all people. So when people come in with bulks of clothing, it's also blood stained and shit. It's just like, hmm, I wonder what's going on there. Oh, I lost my mama! I'm not your papa kid, get out of here. Loki lost her parents. What? No! No, that's the first thing you think of? No. Scary people? Can we trust this kid? Oh, secret passcode. Ooh, black market time. You'll end up as a product? 
Yeah, they know who Mutsumi is. <laughs> I love these subs today. Bald man scoffs. Losing your nerve just because you have a kid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's funny. It shouldn't be funny. He's just bald, but I just keep going with the bald memes, you know, in this channel. It's just funny that the subs finally acknowledge that it's just like a bald man. <laughs> bald man scoffs is a fucking peak fucking, you know, translation. Oh, they all know him, of course. Kyoshiro! Kyoshiro? That dude has a paper bag on his head. Collection of torture, that's what he got. <laughs> well, even if the running gag is Big Brother Kyochiro hates Tayo because, you know, Mutsumi Siskon, he does come in clutch and save us. Are you sure? Our family! Joker mask. It's not even close. I love how Big Brother Shinzo just showed up and just started fucking rifle. Like, I know no one probably dies, but like, everyone else has kind of got thrown up or beaten up. But just him shooting into a fucking crowd, it just seems so raw. Yeah, definitely 40 pack. Yeah. Seiji can't even enjoy his ramen. Uh oh. It's this catastrophic event. We just fucking collapsed them all. It's fine. Now don't worry about it. You what? Yeah, very wholesome, relaxing shopping episode with their family. And that's today's episode of Mission at Yozakura. And this is actually one of the better episodes, I think. Existence, like the whole grandpa part was actually really funny. I love the grandpa. I love how jacked he is. I love how smooth he is. I love how slippery he is at times. And he wasn't just being a womanizer. He was making sure that, you know, he was preparing for the anniversary with grandma. And grandma was alive. We got baited with Keiko. And then the other half was uh, family outing, you know, different secret codes to get, you know, stuff that you shouldn't be able to buy in public. But that's pretty much it. He just collapsed an entire mall. Like... This is like a catastrophic event where people, many people could die, but we just casually walk away after blowing this shit up. Not the all malls, but it's just like, you know, the basement underground floor, but it is what it is. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.